Yo, every week I scour the interwebs to find juicy free games for you to enjoy and this week is no exception. And I wanna jump right in because we have something extra juicy this week. And we wanna start with something special, dark and darker, which kinda sounds like my future can now become yours 100% free of charge. Dark and Darker is an unforgiving hardcore fantasy first person dungeon PvP PvE adventure. Here you band together with your friends and use your courage, wits and cunning to uncover mythical treasures, defeat gruesome monsters and ex-girlfriends while staying one step ahead of the other devious treasure hunters. I must admit I had to crank the brightness to nuclear levels just to see 30 centimeters in front of my head, but uh, it's super fun. It's a really fun game, just be careful cause there is a wanker hiding in every goddamn corner. If you saw my last week's video, you would know that we are giving away two games this week. Townscraper and Bomber Crew... Sorry about that, uh, Townscraper and Bomber Crew Deluxe Edition. And I was thinking before we get any further into this video, let's get this bad boy given away. As last week, a YouTube comment picker will decide the outcome and which two of you juicy people are getting games thrown at your face. Let's start with the first game, which is Townscraper, and that goes to the one and only URT Delta White. And last but not least, Bomber Crew Deluxe Edition, which goes to Thomas Lang 2262. Congrats. Thomas, your name does sound a little bit Danish, so if you're in Denmark by any chance, you're welcome at my place to wrestle the key out of my butt cheeks. Both winners are more than welcome to reach out to me on Discord and I will throw the keys uh, straight at your face. You know, old fashioned style. I've really had a lot of fun giving away games and I think we should continue this trend. Uh, let me know if you agree in the, the comment section. Let's go back to free games and we jump to the Epic Store where we have a total of three games which are up for grabs next week. Marvel Midnight Sun, Idol Champions and Red Out 2. It's not very often we see these triple freebie giveaways on the Epic Store, so that's really nice. And we successfully predicted Midnight Suns to be the last Epic free game in our last video. Midnight Suns is a turn-based action game set in the Marvel Universe and populated with a bit too much Lycra for my liking. It's a 20 euro game that's currently sitting in with very positive reviews on Steam, so I guess that they're doing something right. If you're interested in a superhero turn-based tactical deck builder kind of thing, then you will feel right at home here. It's free to claim until the 13th of June. After the 13th, Marvel Midnight Suns will be replaced by Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms, which has every letter in the damn alphabet in its title, and also read out too. Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms is a dungeon and dragon strategy management game uniting characters from throughout the D&D universe in a grand adventure. This game is a typical mom can I please have Baldur's Gate 3 where the mom says we already have Baldur's Gate 3 at home and brings this juicy baby to the table. Don't get me wrong, it's actually not a bad game. I even saw a guy who had something like 17,000 hours played and I think due to my calculation he must have started sometime when Jesus was walking on earth. And to be fair the graphics do point in that direction. Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms is currently sitting in with mostly positive reviews on Steam and is speaking to the fans of Dungeons and Dragons who don't mind taking a little idle game out for a spin. And by the way, if you want to stay up to date on free games and get them served to you in this uh, quick and quirky setting with a chance to win a free game every now and then, then do us both a favor and smash the subscribe button and like the video if you want to be extra nice, it uh, warms my ice cold heart. Oh, and as always, links to all of the games mentioned in this video are in the description and they take you straight to the deal, so no googling required. Next, we take a look at Red Out 2, which according to the developer is the fastest racing game in the universe. Ah, okay, easy now. Red Out 2 is a tribute to the classic arcade racing game and the sequel to the critically acclaimed Red Out. 
appeal you will reach impossible speeds in this exhilarating futuristic race across an extensive single player campaign and competitive multiplayer if that's your drift. Did you see what I did there with the drift? Ah, 10 out of 10. I was one of those fanboys that really loved Redout 1 and I have played a bit too much of that game to be fair. However, Redout 2, uh, I don't really know, I think it's a step forward and two steps back kind of thing. While there are things that Redout 2 improves upon compared to the first game, I actually think that the first game is the better racing game of the two. The biggest thing for me personally is the difficulty level across Redout 2. It's so inconsistent that you have no idea what to expect and that kind of ruins the experience for me. That said, the tracks are incredible, the ships feel fantastic and the community is one of the most enjoyable I've interacted with and that is saying a lot. The nice thing is that the game is free, so I suggest you at least park it in your digital library for now and then take it for a spin sometime in the foreseeable future if you have nothing else to play. And that pretty much brings the Epic Store free games of the week to a close and we move over to Steam where there's a few goodies to be had as well. Firstly, we start with Tell Me Why, which is free to keep if you get it in your library before the 1st of July. Tell Me Why is this multi-award winning episodic adventure game from Don't Not Entertainment, in which juicy twins use their supernatural bond to discover the truth of their past that I really could not be bothered to understand. I have to be honest and say that Life is Strange, which comes from the same developer with all its fault, is a much better game than Tell Me Why. And for some reason, every time I say Tell Me Why, I'm thinking about our homie Justin, who goes something like, Tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why ain't nothing but something I forgot to tell me why. And now that I just heard that amazing singing back to myself in my headphones, I think I am gonna cringe pretty bad in uh, just about 7 days. Anyway, the writing is kind of uninspiring in this game, choices don't really matter, the ending is kind of disappointing and the gameplay is lacking that all important spice. Not to forget that the soundtrack sounds just like my wife's nagging, I cannot take it anymore. But it's uh, free, so maybe you don't agree with me, you can go yourself and take it for a spin and let me know if you agree in the comment section. You have been served. Next, I want to get your eyeballs on an interesting twist with the Spice Trade. And it's not that kind of spice. Spice Trade offers a chance to rewrite history with the Abu, a young, challenging European spice dominance. As he inherits some land in Baghdad, Abu enters the spice trade to thwart European trade monopoly. And the question is, can you reshape Europe's fate? You decide the outcome in the game of strategy and empire building. Can't really argue, I think the graphics look kinda nice in this adventure point and click exploration game. It just came out a few days ago, so there's no reviews as of now. But if you end up taking the game for a spin, be nice and add a review to help the developer out. Next, I want to take a quick look at Astra Nova, which is an RPG game set in a universe on the brink of destruction, just like our own little Earth. The game will be offering players a blend of immersive storytelling, strategic gameplay and next-gen awards. So far, so good, I guess. But then I went to the review section and we have a little problem. The first review that I saw about this game said the following. If there was ever a game that could induce vomiting, it's this one. Stay away from this NFT garbage. Ouch, that is pretty rough and it also makes it a little bit difficult for me to recommend. So I think we will just park this bad boy next to the trash and uh, let's move on. Next up we have a fun one, Red Planet Rampage, which is a diesel punk western themed arena shooter where robots face off on Mars with the wacky modular guns. Here you will win gun parts in auctions and assemble a unique combination among hundreds of possible weapons. The game is currently in early access so keep that in mind, but that's also a good thing because games need a bit of polish here and there and while they're still in early access that is still an option. The game is fun, don't get me wrong, but it does need a bit of polish on the edges and a little bit of love here and there. Remember, don't necessarily listen to my idiotic opinion, take this bad boy out for a spin on your own and form your own... <coughs> Jesus Christ, I just burped in my own goddamn mouth. Form your own opinion, that's what I was trying to say before I vomited my dinner. Do any of you guys remember the original test driver? My god, did I spend countless hours playing that bad boy. Well, I was kind of surprised when I saw that there is actually a sequel in the making. 
Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. Shitty name, but uh, let's leave it at that. Anyway, what I wanted to say was that the game is offering you juicy drivers a seat in a demo where you can test the game out ahead of its official release sometime in September this year. Usually I don't have demos in these videos, but I have a soft spot for the original test drive, so I couldn't resist. And while we are on driving games, let me show you Nightmare Kart, where the developer was using a significant amount of mushrooms as they were designing this game and it actually ended up uh, pretty good. It reminds me of another driving game I used to love as a kid. I think it was called something with cataclysm catacombs cataclysm but it was about you know destroying cars with other cars and bam i had fun i must admit i was kind of surprised when i saw this bad boy was sitting in with overwhelmingly positive reviews on steam with a total of 2k reviews pretty impressive and i suggest you take it for a spin to see if they're right and that pretty much gets me to the end of today's video thanks a lot for taking the time to watch my video thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't subscribe if you haven't and congratulations for the two winners of the free games Thanks a lot for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.